fighting for the empire The truth they feed is feeble As so many times before The greed of all the people They stumble and they fumble and we hear about to riot They woke up, they woke up, the lions Enjoy the rest of your evening. You've been fantastic. So many lovely texts and messages coming through. Thank you. And just thank you for, for being you. Do it all again tomorrow from five. This is Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. We're the BBC News at 8 o'clock. This is Jason Kay. The final trains of the day are leaving some major stations across Britain because of another strike by members of the RMT union. Around 40,000 workers walked out in a dispute about pay and conditions. Our correspondent Emma Simpson says more people attempted to travel today than during previous strikes. Network Rail says today that more passengers have attempted to travel. The number's up about 15% compared to the last strike day, despite advice to travel only if necessary. Of course, the disruption's clearly been immense, given that half the network shut down but it's clear a lot of people have been adapting you know working from home and so on and of course there will be knock-on effects for tomorrow and more action to come and the train drivers union as has announced a day of industrial action on the 13th of august this is in addition to its existing walkout plan for this saturday Labour has sacked its Shadow Transport Minister Sam Tarry after he joined a picket line in support of today's strike he said he remained committed to supporting workers taking industrial action The US central bank, the Federal Reserve, has announced another unusually large interest rate increase in an attempt to tackle inflation for a second time in a row. The main rate has gone up by three quarters of one percent. A senior economist with the financial firm Berenberg Capital Markets, Mickey Levy, says that raising the cost of borrowing is inevitable, even though that could push the US into a shallow recession. This is a step in the right direction. Now, the higher inflation is already starting to bite into disposable income and you see by corporate earnings reports that it's starting to slow demand. It's well known that the the hike in rates and the inflation are going to harm economic activity. From tomorrow, broadcasters can ask to film judges sentencing the most serious criminals in Crown Courts in England and Wales. The law was changed in 2020 but hasn't come into force until now because of the Covid pandemic. One of the UK's most influential scientists, James Lovelock, whose work helped to inspire the global green movement, has died on his 103rd birthday. His Gaia hypothesis pioneered the idea of an interconnected and self-regulating environment. Our science editor, Rebecca Morell, explains. It's the idea that living things, or the absence of them, have a profound effect on their environment. And so he proposed that the whole of planet Earth, from the oceans, rocks and air, to every living organism was one huge interconnected system. It was a radical idea that attracted some criticism from scientists, but it put James Lovelock at the forefront of the environmental movement. The second semi-final of this year's Women's European Championships is getting underway in Milton Keynes between Germany and France. The winner will play England at Wembley on Sunday. And the weather, there'll be showers in the north of England overnight. The rest of the UK will be largely dry. And that's the BBC News at three minutes past eight. Now, Mark Radcliffe's Commonwealth of Folk. Hello and a two-hour folk show in honour of the 2022 Commonwealth Games opening tomorrow night in Birmingham. And we present the Commonwealth of Folk, roots music from around the Commonwealth, with guests representing Jamaica, India, Pakistan, Australia and Canada. Oh, and the UK. Uh, Special music sessions, interviews and really great tunes transporting us around the world. Let's begin in Port Antonio, Jamaica, with the legendary Jolly Boys, Nothing to do with the outing in Only Fools and Horses, but the Jamaican kings of Mento, the pre-reggae genre. And you might not know the Jolly Boys, but you will know the song. And the 
Passenger 